Si tuviera que pararme aquí, enfrente de ustedes, y hablarles en español, ¿qué pensarían de mí? Yes, I just talked to you in Spanish. If I had the opportunity to stand here in front of you and talk in Spanish, I wouldn't even think twice. Non-native speakers tend to have accents in their second language. Unfortunately, it does have a disadvantage. No matter how many times a person has told me, oh, your accent is so cute. I know that at the end of the day, People who have accents are seen as less credible and are often not chosen for Senate jobs. I believe that non-native speakers should have the same opportunities as native speakers. My first point is that people who have accents are seen as less credible as those without. Therefore, it is harder to understand what the non-native speaker is saying. It was last year, I remember, while doing an individual assignment during class, I said, I can't focus. The teacher reaction was, Tally, speak like a lady. What did I say wrong? I couldn't tell. So I repeated the same words in my head. I can't focus, I can't focus, I can't focus. <laughs> Then it all clicked. The teacher has thought that I said the F word when in reality I made a mistake with mispronunciation. Now, you may be thinking, that was just a misunderstanding. It doesn't mean you are incredible. However, you don't know what happened next. The teacher proceeded to keep me after class to teach me the correct pronunciation of the word F-O-C-U-S. Focus. <laughs> Trust me, learning a second language can be very challenging, especially to pick up pronunciation, rate of speech, and intonation. Researchers at the University of Chicago asked Americans to listen to native and non-native speakers of English saying simple statements such as, a giraffe can go longer without water than a camel can, and then judge how truthful these statements were. The study concluded that the researchers, the listeners actually believed the statement if it was said by native speakers. Basically, the stronger the accent, the less credible the speaker. But this problem goes beyond social credibility and it also affects job opportunities. Freedom of speech has been disrupted in America. Losing jobs because of accents has become a repetitive issue in the United States. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission has developed several laws that protect workers because of their accent. Think about this. The problem must be really serious in order to create a law that protects workers because of their accent. In Phoenix, an Iraqi hotel employee was mocked by his co-workers because of his accent. After spending his whole year's salary to hire a lawyer, Basi Masi was granted his job back. Now imagine, How sad it is, they had to fight and go to court in order to get back to that place that he will still be mocked because of his accent and called a terrorist. When the accent interferes with a person's success and workplace, it is then unacceptable. My workplace is school. Therefore, if I had the opportunity to stand here in front of you and talk in Spanish, I wouldn't even think twice. My Spanish accent for a native Mexican is perfectly fine. Créeme, me encantaría dar este discurso en español. I believe that non-native speakers should have the same opportunity as native speakers. Thank you. <laughs>